Professor Dai, so please tell us about the principles of P4 personalized medicine. I have to say, you see, the P4 medicine is a kind of uh, format, you know, uh, being improved for the new century. Uh, first of all, you see, uh, everything you have to be predictive first, okay? So as earlier as possible, so you can save a lot of money when you're doing the procedure of treatment. Okay. Uh, usually, uh, the traditional diagnostic imaging, uh, they give you some kind of a, uh, science. But right now, if you do earlier, the science has been uh, uh, changing a lot. Not the size, also the feature, uh, the characters. Okay. So, uh, since we are going to using the new uh, examination tools such as uh, MR, PET, CT, PET, so we can detect as earlier as possible for the small lesions. Okay, so we have to be uh, pay more attention. So that's the reason we have to emphasize predictive prevention is uh, uh, very important. Because uh, right now the people uh, is uh, according to n no symptom. Can you detect them? So you have to using the prevention way, screening by the different age, uh, by the gene, you know, uh, groups. So that's some kind of things uh, we have to be mentioned. And also, we have to teaching all those people changing the life, uh, not too salty, uh, and also uh, you have to be uh, exercise uh, and pay attention to your food and your lifestyle. Uh, we clear understanding because the doctor we are not just for uh, treatment. Also, we have to. Uh, teaching, you know, our people uh, for their health condition. So the health care is the major thing compared with uh, the treatment. So we have to change the angle to prevention. Okay. Uh, so prevention, another thing which is the lifestyle should be changed. Okay. The personalized medicine doesn't matter your screening, your diagnosis, your treatment, your follow-up. Can you do as earlier as possible based on the molecular level? So you have to be pay attention to the patient difference. So we emphasize the personalized medicine. So we can save in a lot of money because uh, the, each person, they have their own condition. You know. The participants is more important because you have to teach them the way, asking the people how to change their life. So usually, we are radiologists. We are understanding the 3D. We are understanding all the new model of the modern imaging, the technology, advanced technology. But how about uh, you see the clinic doctor? Maybe they are just still reading the report, black and white. Even they don't see any kind of uh, rotating 3D imaging, virtual imaging. So can you asking those people participate? Okay. And also the patient should be participate. The, the relative of the patient should they participate. Uh, so uh, they can uh, help each other in the one family and also prolong, you see, the life and the changing a little bit, you know, the, the lifestyle and also uh, take the medicine. Yeah. So, so that's uh, something we mentioned. This is kind of a new model. 
Uh, anyhow, I think this is a, the direction for the new century because we are going to away from the hospital, only do the, uh, the, the, the treatment uh, and the shift to the family and uh, do the health care. Yeah, we are going to be earlier, as early as possible, before the symptom, you know, and then we can do something. So what will be the role of informatics and IT that they can play in this? Well, see, the, the IT should be, you know, help us. Uh, for example, see, the earlier diagnosis, you see, uh, the predictive, you know, because right now we're using the IT, I mean, so, uh, the, all the digital imaging, so we can do it, okay? The so IT is kind of way to help us and asking everybody participate, you know, the, the, the diagnostic, uh, I mean, so the imaging result. Uh, for example, right now, see, uh, uh, we can, uh, using the cloud-based uh, imaging. So it doesn't matter, you know, who take these pictures. And uh, everybody can share the imaging. And it doesn't matter you're a radiologist or you're a neurosurgeon or you're uh, medical people, okay? And also the relative, you know, if you like. Uh, you can read in all those reports, you can uh, uh, view the imaging. And uh, of course, we can uh, set the different level, you know, for the different purpose, you know, of uh, uh, the people who are going to share the imaging. Yeah. So the IT is important. And the IT, I mean, so the digital way uh, I mentioned, uh, not the traditional way. Uh, not uh, emphasize any kind of uh, 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 the fiber, you know. Uh, uh, well, I'm emphasize the wireless and the freedom. So the IT help you. You can do anywhere, anytime, any imaging, and uh, any information integrate. So the research activities that are going on there, is China part of the international community in doing this? Well, see, uh, uh, you, you understand, you see, as emerging countries, so we have a different companies involved in this. As uh, the Society of Radiology, of course, we push. And uh, usually, we, uh, generally speaking, we do advise the board, you know, to help them, you know, and. Uh, and developing uh, this kind of a strategy, you know, for for the all. Uh, and also, uh, we have some kind of a, uh, let's see, the model. Uh, I can give you the case, New South was uh, uh, Shengjing Affiliate Hospital of Chi China Medical University. They tied about 31 different level hospitals, okay? And by using uh, the new soft, you know, product. And right now, uh, they're sending the small monitor into the family. So the patient or uh, the people who need the health care, so they can type any kind of uh, uh, the monitor, you see, uh, like uh, blood pressure and the temperature, uh, of course, digital base and they have uh, the sensor and uh, the link with the small monitor. And the small monitor, you know, is uh, going to transfer all the information into uh, the base. And the, the base is going to into uh, the upper level. So they are already building the chain. So in other words, this is kind of a model. The IT help them, you know, uh, already in the house. Uh, in the house. So I, I, I think, see, that's kind of things, you know, uh, some hospital with the uh, Chinese IT business already involved. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, uh, the problem which is uh, for the monitor being set in the home, uh, you must be IHE available. So everything you can purchase from the market. So, so in other words, right now, not the medical equipment, also the healthcare uh, equipment, uh, or the the small, uh, I mean, the staff sensors, whatever. 
should be actually available. Yeah. So we are talking standards and interoperability. So China, again, is part of the international community pushing for these standards, right? You're right. You're right. Yeah. Uh, in a, uh, the European, you always call your uh, European Union. But anyway, the language not been unified. Fortunately, China, since Qin Dynasty, the dialogue has been, you know, uh, integrated or been unified. But we still have uh, the different uh, dialogue by the different departments. So, of course, uh, unified, one kind of a dialogue, uh, there are a lot of problems. So we're still going on. I don't think this is a very short time. No way. And who is going to finance these investments? So monitors at home, sensors at home, will that be the patient paying for that? You have to understand, you see, the, 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 the insurance system, you see, divides to three persons. The government only pay the basic, essential, you know, re reimbursement, okay? And also, uh, the institute who, uh, which you're working for, so they can purchase another part. You know, it's kind of an overhead benefit, you know, from your unbelievable, you know, institute. The third one, which is your personal uh, uh, business, I mean, it's uh, insurance. So I think right now the most thing, if not attend or belong to the government essential medical or health care service, you cannot reimburse from them. But you can purchase some kind of a copper or uh, insurance by your own. So what is the time frame for P4 medicine in China? Uh, the P4 medicine, you see, is uh, uh, not just the format being changed. Also, the mind size should be changed. You understand all this, uh, I mean, so the, the, the medical people right now, you know, they graduate from medical school, no one teaching them. And uh, fortunately, uh, the public health ministry, Master Chen, uh, with his report, target to 2020, 2020. I mean, it's, uh, they call 2020 healthcare, okay. He already putting P4 medicine over there. Yeah, you know, I think it's one of the target. You know, 